Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. This is my new, but actually quite old, Whitney 30 ton punch press. It's formerly a model 730, and it's a portable hydraulic punch press that I just picked up. Growing up, my grandfather was a steel fabricator, and he sold the business when I was very young, uh, but he kept the building, so to this day, he owns it, and uh, every once in a while, I've had the chance to go through it, and I can remember as a kid, seeing these various Whitney punches throughout their shop, and I thought they were the coolest things. They use them to punch base plate holes in I-beams for structural steel. So now that I have a need and I've been doing a bunch of projects where I've been needing holes made in things, which I'll tell you about in a minute, um, I had the chance to, to find one of these and I actually put it together. I bought the punch and the power unit separately. Um, they call it portable and the punch here, which you can see the red guy, weighs about 70 pounds, so it's pretty beefy. And then the power unit here below is a hydraulic unit that generates about 5,000 PSI. It weighs quite a few hundred pounds, but it's on casters. So I think the idea is when they say portable, they mean uh, you can bring it to a construction site. Without further ado, let's take a look at what this bad boy can do. I've got a 17 30 seconds inch punch in there. So that's uh, slightly bigger than a half inch. And we're gonna push that through this angle bracket here and see how she does. So we'll turn her on. We will place our bracket where we want it, hit the down button, just like that. Take a closer look. So there you can see in less than a second or two, we've created a very nice hole, no real burrs or sharp edges. So why use something like this over a drill press? Well, as you just saw, it's really fast. It's also in many respects safer because you're not gonna have a part uh, catch on a drill bit and, and, and whip around on you. They also make a lot of different punches. This is a quarter inch punch and die. And what's pretty incredible is that this die and punch set is a less than $30. So you can afford to have different sizes or custom shapes and uh, diameters, and they'll make custom shapes. You can get square punches, you can get um, oval punches, something you can't obviously do with a drill. And finally, for me, when I'm cutting things on the plasma, it doesn't make sense to cut and pierce small holes. They're not really good on a plasma. There's too much bevel. It tears up your consumables. So it's pretty easy to take a piece of aluminum, make a little fixture plate, and then you take a plasma cut part like this, and you just rest it in, in there, tap it with a hammer. That gives you your two uh, market punches, which will ride on the center tit of the punch. And then you can make parts like this uh, in my opinion, much more economically than having to put them on a drill press. Um, that's it for today's episode, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please comment below or share or like. Otherwise, take care and we'll see you soon.